Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, this is kind of like Christian related as far as that goes with this current debacle that's been going on here um, with this one website Kiwi Farms and I don't really know too much about it but it's where people just go around shit posting and when it comes to like the little cowls and that sort of thing and so apparently the past couple of days it has been blocked and booted off of Cloudflare's uh, content delivery network as far as that goes and so it's been relatively offline for quite a bit you know but there has been some problems with that side for uh, the last month I think you know but when it came to the Sonic shoe um, side or the quickie also went offline probably for a similar reason because of due to the whole circumstances when it came to Chris Chan early last month as far as that goes you know but as the other thing here was because of that it was it also had been uh, featured on tech dirt as, as far as that goes and and it goes into like some of those little moral questions of some things like you know they should we allow certain sites to be on the internet or access certain things like cloudflare or or whatnot just because of that and then should certain sites should be booted off the internet just because we just don't like what's on that site or something like that you know what I mean but then it just reminds me of all that kind of stuff that was going on back in the early days of the internet where, where certain people were trying to ban you know porn sites off the internet or something like that you know but it's just one of those little things again you know what I mean? So, considering the other thing here, you know, when it comes to that, it's not just Kiwi Farms, you know, or the Sonichu one, but it was also like Onion Farms. That was also Kangol's site there. But I don't know if, like, Encyclopedia Dramatica is still on, or some of these other sites are like that, that, that are kind of known to that, to do that kind of stuff, you know, whether it was 4chan, or 8chan, or, or 4coon, 8coon, or something like that, you know, as far as that goes, you know what I mean? But... Considering all of that sort of stuff there, it's like, you know, there has to be a lot of accountability, but then it's like, you know, where do we draw the line on on keeping kids safe and not infringing on people's rights to express themselves and all of that, you know, and it just goes like the same sort of arguments that were going on back about you know, 20 or 30 years ago, you know, when it was the, the height of the, the moral majority, those type of people back then, you know, that wanted to clean up the airways because they don't want kids to learn about sex or something like that. Yeah. But these are also the same people who also wanted to clean up the internet for the same very reasons. You know what I mean? So, um, 
I don't know what else I kind of wanted to put into, you know, with this. But I think if there's other things that I want to add on to this sort of thing, you know, I'll probably put in another video. So anyways, talk to you guys later.